A month ago, I played like this. Bruh. Bruh. Now I play like this. I'll show you exactly how I did it. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tipper here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm going to show you guys how I improved my aim in CSGO in just around one month. And it's very easy and I guarantee if you stick to it, it will work. Your aim will get better. Just be patient. Don't lose hope. Just keep at it. All right. Yeah. Keep in mind though. Yeah. Obviously, if you do want to get better, it's something you have to be dedicated and you have to stick to the practice every single day. Some days you might want not want to do it, but if you want to improve, you have to do it, right? So I just, like some days you might just only hop on CSGO exclusively to practice. You might not even play a competitive game, but it's what you have to do to, to build your muscle memory. But anyways, though, my routine is very, very simple. So in the morning I wake up and then get some coffee and basically I just get a thousand frags on aim butts, but I don't just aim normally. I focus on practicing my aim, but I don't just aim normally. I don't just go for the thousand frags. I actively focus on practicing my aiming consistency and just aiming while moving around. So like a thousand kills a day isn't really the best practice in the world, but this will help you build muscle memory way faster, which will allow you to basically, you know, have an advantage against people who are standing still. You know, it still helps, right? Any bit of practice still helps. Like as long as you build the muscle memory, you're good to go. And then after aimbots, you want to take like a five to 10 minute break and then restart the game, uh, mainly because aimbots breaks the second map if you don't restart and then just get up and stretch. Maybe, you know, get yourself a snack, do some push ups, stretch your arms and wrists. Like even if you're young, it's still a good habit to stretch before a long gaming session to prevent injury later in life. You also want to have really good posture as well. You want to sit up straight and like you want your back to be nice and strong and straight and you don't you don't want to look like a stereotypical gamer. But yeah, the links are in the description down below. But once you're ready to hop on the second map, it's called uh, fast aim slash reflex training. This will help you practice against moving targets. But trust me though, if you get a thousand kills on aimbots and 500 kills on fast aim aim training, your aim will slowly improve the more you do it. Just don't go in expecting to improve overnight because it can take quite a while <laughs> just and yeah also don't just like go for sprays and just don't try to take the easy way out you need to make sure your aim is on point basically what i try to do is i try to make sure i hit the targets as often as possible and i try not to miss and if i miss i try to uh, slow down and recalibrate and just like it's all about building good muscle memory where if you see an enemy you can just flick straight to his head subconsciously your gaming equipment is also a pretty big factor whether you like it or not your equipment can usually determine your skill ceiling. If you have a PC that can barely run CSGO at 60 frames per second, and you have a mouse with a crappy sensor you got from Amazon for like $2, and you have a 60 hertz monitor, you'll definitely be limited by that ex by the equipment. You can only get so good, and then at some point, people with higher refresh rate monitors and better mice will have a big advantage over you just because they have the better equipment. Use what you have right now and try to get used to it, but I would highly recommend if you want to get better, you have to get better equipment. Like a 240 hertz monitor versus a 60 hertz monitor is night and day like even 144 versus 240 hertz like 240 is still better it's not the same as 60 to 144 but it's still a hundred more frames per second so you'll perceive things just a couple frames quicker than someone else with a 144 hertz monitor but you can you can probably get away with like a 144 for for the meantime if you can't afford like to spend four or five hundred dollars on a monitor because <laughs> you know 240 hertz monitors are pretty damn pricey so pretty much the faster your brain can perceive what's going on the faster you can hit the one taps. Now, spending a lot of money on nice equipment won't instantly make you better. You still have to practice and be consistent. You have to be consistent and you have to practice. If you want to improve at Counter-Strike, you have to keep playing it every day and never get lazy. Like you get better through 1500 frags a day against bots, 
shots plus like some 128 tick deathmatch afterwards. But this will only help you develop your mechanical skills. You still need to focus on game sense and communication, which you can only really develop by playing the game. Because there are three parts to CSGO. There's the mechanical skill, there's the game sense, and there's the communication. Those are the three pillars. If you're strong in those three aspects, you can go pro. But if you have good mechanical aim, but you have bad game sense, you're going to be held back. So you have to make sure all of your skills are, you know, up to par. So I'll give you a couple tips and tricks on how to develop your communication and your game sense. All right, so communication is a little bit easier to work on because you you can just learn all the callouts and practice on your own by yourself. And when you make callouts, you want to try to be like quick and clear and to the point so your teammates understand like what's going on. You never want to talk too much or you never want to talk when you're dead and your teammates are trying to clutch it just because like it can be more of a distraction and they might not hear your footsteps because you said something. You know, let your teammates think for themselves. Let them make their own decisions. If they lose, they lose. If they win, they win. Because just you talking might actually make it harder for them. Like don't just make an assumption and give your teammates potential potentially false information that could lead to them losing the round. For example, like what if you tell them like, oh, he might be library, but he's apps like that can really screw your teammate over. Yeah. So basically just learn the callouts and don't talk too much. Try to focus on having the best communication skills possible. Also, don't never be negative or toxic or never say like there's the guy on their team is cheating because that's just going to lead your team to playing worse because they're not going to try as hard because like, you know, in the back of their mind, they think, oh, what's the point? There's a cheater on their team, bro. Like even if you you're positively sure they're cheating, don't even mention it. Just do your best and try to stay in try to stay in the game. Keep your team positive. Because I know being negative and having a toxic team, having a toxic slash negative atmosphere can make your team play much, much worse. Basically, just no matter what, keep your head in the game and play it one round at a time. All right. Comebacks happen constantly in Counter-Strike. That's the beauty of it. Also, game sense. The only way to improve game sense is to simply play the game, whether it be competitive, pugs, or even like tournaments. You can also get it from watching high-level players play Counter-Strike. Strike. So find a Twitch streamer who's good at Counter Strike and who gives tips and tricks and watch them. Plus, you know, watch tournaments. You can learn new spots, new angles, utility usage, like different things to do, like how to control recoil. Like, there's so many things you can learn from watching higher level players. But obviously, on the other hand, if you don't play the game yourself and you only watch people and you never practice, you're not really going to be able to execute on like those strategies. You have to make sure you practice and you have to make sure you watch pro players play. One thing you can do is download OBS slash or it's also known as open broadcast software. It's free and open source and basically just record yourself when you play and make sure your microphone is being recorded too. And then this way you can go back and watch yourself play. You can also listen to more of your like, you know, call outs and stuff and you can figure out like which ones were useful, which ones hurt your team. And just overall try to be more introspective and try to figure out your, your flaws so you can get better. Because the first thing you need to do is you need to understand your your issues. You need to understand what you're not the best at to improve in that area. Like if you, if you talk too much, just try to talk less, <laughs> basically. You can also watch the demo as well and just see what the other team does and see how they react to like what you do and try to figure out ways to counter their strats. Now, you, you can't just watch one demo and immediately become better at the game. You're going to have to make a habit of watching demos constantly if you want to like you know improve like you just need to have an analytical mind and over time it'll get easier and you will improve a hundred percent also don't just no life cs go you need to also balance your life with counter-strike to prevent yourself from getting burnt out if you don't really feel like playing counter-strike some days just hop on and just do the training routine the 1500 frags and then just and then hop off it's it's 20 to 30 minutes but it's crucial to keeping your aim consistent and overall just have fun it's just a game at the end of the day and don't stress over it if you're having fun you'll improve way faster and that's part of the reason why Zayu is so good he just screws around has fun even during like the major you know he still tries to have some fun he still smiles he's you know he realizes it's a game and he's you can take your skill to the next level if you like if you don't get tilted like if you get upset over the game and if you get mad you're never going to improve but if you can stay calm if you can like smile and have fun even if you lose then that's the mindset you need to to just really really get better and the crazy thing is like when it comes to aiming you don't really have to think about it aiming is just a very complicated skill to master and you don't want to think about it while you're doing it because when you do that you overthink things and then you end up missing shots because you're like you're overcompensating for the trajectory you have to try to learn you have to try to build muscle memory to be able to do all your aiming subconsciously so you can use the rest of your brain to focus on what's actually happening in the current rounds you can outsmart your opponents your conscious brain should focus on the game sense while your subconscious muscle memory brain can focus on getting the kills to win the round it's kind of hard to explain but it's pretty much why all CSGO pros are so good because they don't really like they've played the game so much that they don't even 
even really have to think about playing it. it they just kind of, their muscle memory just takes over and they just focus on the tactics. But anyways though, I know I'm a gold Nova, but I mostly play face it in ESEA and I've played Counter-Strike since 2013. I just have fun with it. Like to me, ranks are completely irrelevant and you shouldn't judge anybody based on their rank because that can be affected by teammates who don't really take the game seriously. Like there's a lot of people who solo queue. Like I pretty much only solo queue. So I'm just focused on having fun and you know, like learning a few things along the way. And over time, I'll get better. Everybody plays at their own level and whether you're silver two or global elite, it doesn't matter as long as you're having fun and overall just, you know, improving slowly. You won't get better overnight it can take a very very long time you just have to be patient and just never give up if you truly want to get better but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you want more stuff like this in the future because i i really enjoyed making it it was so much fun like i had the idea this morning and i was just like you know what instead of doing what i was gonna do i'm just gonna do this because this, this is i'm just feeling it if you guys enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe click that bell icon and if you watch the video all the way until the end leave a comment saying hashtag turbo i'm gonna start doing these tips and tricks and i'm gonna get better i'm gonna go pro i'm gonna be better than simple and yeah if you do that i'll do my best to try to give you guys a heart and just overall guys you know i'm still here i'm never gonna stop making content and i'm gonna keep doing this as long as i have your support so follow me on twitch join the discord server follow me on twitter instagram all that stuff every link is in the description down below thank you guys for being a part of my life thank you guys for being a part of the turbo nation thanks for being a part of the community and i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day it's turbo and i'm out peace